If you like Isabella Merced, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Number five. Yeah, Stuart Bale is eating at the Waffle Town. And Lady Gaga is just buying tampons at the gas and go. Let It Snow is a romantic comedy film directed by Luke Snellen. When a blizzard hits the people of small Gracetown, it doesn't show signs of stopping. But luckily, while outside freezes, the heat is rising inside. Around Christmas Eve, sexual and romantic tensions spark between the young people who are forced together by the event. Defined by a charismatic ensemble and just enough comfort, this heartfelt union makes for a joyous family film. That was my uh, step-cousin, Bryant, and his name is Bryant. Oh, really? Then why did he just run off to the bathroom? Well, why would you run to the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Number four. Dora and the Lost City of Gold, directed by James Bobbin. Bringing the joy of live action to a wonderful family adventure, this adaptation of the kids' cartoon has the infamous hero Dora go on a mission to find the lost city of gold. With mysteries, goons, and long-loved friends beside her, this Dora adventure has something for every fan of the original TV series. So you will be wiser, and don't forget, it's a natural fertilizer. I believe in you, Sammy. I believe that you can do this. Also, medically, you have to do this. Number three. But I already have a plan. That's, that's great. Uh, what, what is it? I'm going to fake my own death. Rosaline is a romantic comedy film directed by Karen Maine. With a hilarious twist on the legendary love story, Romeo and Juliet, Rosaline turns it all around, telling the story of Juliet's cousin, who happens to be Romeo's past love interest. When she sees the two legendary lovers fall in love, she schemes a plot to win her guy back and have her name written down in history. What if Romeo thinks you're really dead? I've, I've sent Steve the Courier to tell him. Steve the Courier is an idiot. You've got to trust me. My plan is better. <sighs> Let's go. Juliet. Number two. Sicario, Day of the Soldado is a 2018 action crime film directed by Stefano Solima. This conclusion to the genre-shattering Sicario is impressing with more thrills, higher stakes, and the violent reality of drug wars. In this war, rules aren't applying. This is why the mysterious and effective Alejandro is used by the government to win it. After kidnapping the daughter of a cartel boss, the conflicts are more inflamed than ever. I know who you are. You're the attorney whose family they killed. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. He's down. Bravo team, extract those kids. We're moving out! Get up! I can't. No, 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 look at me! Wake up, Kennedy! You're gonna be okay. What does it mean? Uh, it means victory is ours. Almost. What? I don't want to ruin your sense of accomplishment, but, uh, you didn't break every rule. You know, I just don't think I'm built to have a boss, so I'm going to start my own thing. Don't you think you need a little experience for that, Cora? Like what? College? I college, yes. Number one. It's okay. Go mingle with the kitties and uh, don't give it another thought, okay? Have a good day, folks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Instant Family is a 2018 comedy drama film directed by Sean Anders. Young couple Ellie and Pete want to have children. Stumbling over the possibility of adoption, they want to start with one child. But what they both wouldn't have thought, they soon find themselves with three kids overnight. Now the young couple is faced with learning the difficulties and challenges of instant family in hilarious ways. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.